Hello, uh, I'm Calamardi, I play Taylor. Hi, uh, I'm Helder Fernandez and I play Luan. Hi, I'm Sarita Gabney and I play the role of Mia Parry. And uh, we're going to give you a, a, a tour Grand of the Minerva. Thank you backstage oh. tour of the Minerva. <laughs> Exclusive. Go. Come on right this way. Uh, the main stage itself, a lot more uh, smaller than uh, the last one, but also more intimate. It's a really amazing shape. It feels almost like you're in a kind of amphitheater, doesn't it? The entrances feel very, very special. Like, yeah, it just feels like an, you're entering an arena, mm. which is very different to where we performed at the NT, the mm -hmm. Dortmund. I think it's, you have to really, really trust that the message is getting across even if you're not directly facing that person. We spoke a lot in rehearsals about the idea that rather than kind of directing every line, trying to um, get everyone in your sight line and do like general sweeps, it's more effective if you choose one seat and deliver that to that person and kind of have in your in your mind's eye that you're actually speaking to all of these people as well and trust that they, they'll feel more spoken to if you're being direct and and making communication with one person. I think it's a really freeing space because it is, it is 360. Is. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. sometimes performing on a stage that is cross arch where you never break the fourth wall can be quite limiting. And there's something that really like opens up your body and, and it gives us all such a sense of playfulness being able to play in, in 360. 360 yeah. It's really nice. There are a few moments where uh, we single out uh, people in particular <laughs> and sort of include them into the scene. Yeah, it's such a lovely play to do and you can kind of, you can find your like friends in the audience from really early on. Yeah. Like I had a really amazing moment last night where you can kind of, you can sense who's reacting really well to it or who's comfortable like vocally reacting. And I heard uh, an older woman in the front row doing a lot of vocal reactions and I looked at her and directed a question to her which was like, did I say that? And no one's ever responded to that and she went, yes you did. And I went, hey. <laughs> and we had like a duologue and I was like, yeah, that's, that's so great that she feels like she can she can speak and that like only ever adds to it. We have a, the, the light rigging. Yeah. Mm. Um, these, are, these are amazing. Yeah, I love these. They come um, down, they go up. And apparently, Leon, is it Leone? Leone operates them by hand backstage every night. She's mm -hmm. got like a, a row of strings apparently that she's like magically pulling on to make right. sure they all come down perfectly in time with the music. We've got uh, the, the shutter, which uh, we used to uh, bring out props. Yeah, so it's kind of multi yeah. isn't it? you got like the, the <laughs> at one point it opens and Debbie's behind it dressed as a dinner lady. <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, sneezing on the pizza. Or like uh, we lift it up and it's just like a wall of timetables. Mm. Yeah. I've had it a few times though recently that we didn't have in the last venue you were at where I go to walk backstage and I'm, I don't realise that's the moment when the hatch is open and I can see through the sun and I'm like, oh! <laughs> Here's uh, some of the it's costumes funny. and props lined up for the start. I don't know how you guys, I'm not in the scene where these all have to come on really rapidly in time to music. I don't know how you guys do that. I put it this way, I have to be down at the bottom of the ramp <laughs> quick. We've got some, some nice bread. <laughs> oh no, it's not bread, <laughs> it's plastic! Yeah, so uh, here's the props, props table, here. there's uh, the lovely salmon. Do you, do you like some salmon? Do you like some salmon? Uh, there's a the lot one. of teachers in this show. There's a lot of teachers as you can in see, this show. I don't know how they find the right lanyard at the right Ooh. point. Yeah. And then we all have, I've lost my second case. Cases. We've all got a couple of phone cases so we can change them throughout the show depending on what oh year my, we're meant to be my. on. My character starts off with a nice uh, nice Disney phone case. This is where we do our sound check. So Fuzz will sit here. Yeah. And she presses whichever one is ours, whatever number we are. You can see our headshots up here with what number mic we are using. She'll press that and we'll do a little testing, testing, one, two, three before the show and in every interval. So this is one of the most vital props <laughs> in the play. <laughs> uh, we won't tell you why. Uh, you'll have to come mm. see it yourself in order to find out why. <laughs> well, this is quite interesting. So these two phones here, they're on a different table to where the rest of the phones are kept. And this is because these are called our show phones, which means that the other phones are just normal phones that we control ourselves. And these ones are show phones by some magic trick, I don't know how, uh, someone is controlling them and getting them to like ring on cue and pop up with certain messages on cue um, so we can't actually touch them and play with them, we have to swip, 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 swip and swap and switch phones throughout the show. Part two is really joyous because it starts off with some Ariana Grande blaring loudly and you kind of throw back the curtains and strut on. Little uh, extra area here where we do quick changes as well so that we can uh, enter back onto the stage mm. and also we have uh, the infamous uh, ring lights, ring lights. <laughs> for the self-image. Yeah, yeah self-image self -image. ensemble. So the ensemble moments are kind of slightly surreal, almost like musical numbers, which involve all of us. Sort of timeless. Um, yeah, yeah, they're kind of out of chronological order of the play and they, um, 
Yeah, they're great, they're great fun. And these are the ring lights, which we have to make sure somehow in the dark we pick up the right ones in the right hands because someone's controlling the lights from afar. I don't know how they do that, it's magic. All different colours and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, that's about nothing it, yeah. Else. Should we, should nothing we... else. <laughs> nothing, nothing really. Nothing really. That's about yeah, that's it. About yeah, that's it. That's about it. About it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on our uh, uh, little tour, or grand tour, or? <laughs> grand tour. Uh, grand, grand tour, there grand we go. Grand yeah, plans. Yeah. And we hope to see you in yeah. the Minerva in the audience yeah. and come along with a journey with us. <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! See you soon.